Welcome back into Wisconsin Women, our series here. Of course, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Later in the program, we're going to talk to owner Debbie Offerdahl about how she is helping women who are losing their hair during one of the most difficult times of their life regain some of their confidence here at the Secret Garden Wig Boutique behind the Ultimate Spa. We'll talk about that later. Right now, though, we're going to talk to an expert on helping us find our own happiness, and we need that now more than ever. Kristen Johnson Bott is with Mindful Wellness, and she's here with us today to give us some pointers. Thanks so much for being here. Well, thanks so much for having me. So one of the things that we're going to talk about today is taking control of our happiness, and we so often attribute how we're feeling to external factors, when in reality, what I'm learning from you is that it has so much to do with how we are able to control our mindset. How did you get into this industry? Well, I've been a teacher in some sort my whole life. Even as a child, I was teaching my brothers. Um, <laughs> and my mom sort of raised me with that idea of, well, how are, what if you looked at it differently? That kind of thing. But then I was a math teacher, now I'm a tutor. And then I went into health and fitness. I've been doing that 30 years. And I just sort of realized that whatever I'm teaching, it's not the subject that matters. It's how are we living life? How are we looking at life? And how can I take control of some things? And unfortunately, I went through kind of a hell of a decade with a lot of things where you feel like you're coming up for a breath of air and the next thing happens and so I went through a tough divorce and everything that goes with that and lost both of my parents and my best friend and my son was in a daycare abuse and he learned trauma from early on and so I really just started on my own later when I went through trainings I realized oh that's what I was doing of just learning breathing exercises and things you can say to yourself and ways you can set yourself up to you know, to experience life this thing called life a little bit better to feel like you're navigating it versus being you know, thrown around with the waves. So what's like a really good tip you could give us to finding our own happiness and just kind of helping us make that mind yeah. shift? It's funny you say that because as I was preparing for this segment, I thought I'm not doing any of these things lately and I can tell because <laughs> those who are closest to me would say, really, you're gonna go on and talk about that? Because you know, a lot's going on in the world right, right. now. And what I think is if you aren't proactive, if you're reactive, is when we can really get lost. So when I'm already in a place where I'm spinning and I try to pull in a strategy that I know would normally work, it doesn't work so well. So one of my mentors taught it as a merry-go-round. Like if you get it going in a positive direction and you're doing things that are taking care of you and taking control, mm -hmm. it's harder for the negatives to bounce in, but that's yeah. true on the opposite as well, if you get spinning. So I look at it, I have three boys and they're all athletes and you know, so they aren't gonna show up to their sport without having practiced certain skills. And our sport maybe is life, right? right and right. so there's certain yeah. skills if we're practicing them, even five minutes a day of breathing and noticing, it's not about being good at being in the moment, it's about being good to yourself and you know, stretching and releasing the tension in your body every once in a while and little things that you can do that get that merry-go-round spinning in the right, right direction. Mm -hmm. And it gives you a perspective then of in seeing what's happening instead of being in the middle of it. Oh, what a great way to put it. It really is, because to your point, are you gonna let life sort of feel like it's happening to you or mm -hmm. are you going to make some adjustments so mm -hmm. that you can feel like you have a little bit of control? Mm -hmm. And those adjustments, as you're talking about really, are about practicing, yes. about practicing things you want to see and about habits and trying to right. form good mm -hmm. habits that are good for your mindset. You have a fall into a healthy routine program. Mm -hmm. And you know, we often think that we at some point can make these changes on our own. And the reality is so so often we put it off, right? Yes. And so it's nice to be able to have somebody like you who has ways for us to participate with a little guidance. Let's mm -hmm. talk about that program. Yep, yeah, so everything I do through Mindful Wellness has a choice of, or all of them, an eat well, a move well, and a think well component. Mm -hmm. And so this I sort of co-create with each person. What is it I'm looking in, you know, in a few weeks, what would I like to have be just easy, it's natural to me because it's a habit I've formed. Good habits are right, just as addicting mm. as negative habits, um, but much more rewarding. And so we co-create that and then there's a 21 day if you want to do the whole thing where I am hold accountability for you and give you just little things that you can work on each day. And by the end of that, usually we've made some differences. Like our routine has just become something, you see the benefits so much that you just keep doing it. 
And can we quick touch on a little stretching as well with us all like in front of our computers yes. more than ever right <laughs> Absolutely. now? Absolutely. Our phones and right. everything. So. They're, yeah, just a, I think of it like a moving meditation. For people like me who your brain is so busy and then you're just supposed to stop, even just things like little twists, you know, to take a moment and twist and breathe in. Twisting is calming to our nervous system. I have a oh. stretch and relief, stress relief program okay. that's, it's two days a week and it's over the lunch hour. You can do it on Zoom live or you can get the recordings and do it anytime. And it's just twice a week to kind of get re-centered and release stuff and things that you can do on your own if you wish. If you want to move well, think well, and eat well, or maybe you need all three, <laughs> you know who to reach out to. You can visit Kristen on her website, Mindful Wellness or Wisconsin Women, and we'll be back after the break.